guys um, welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to talk about quark captor balance and PID numbers as you have seen in my previous videos if you have seen them before I have um, done some modification to uh, smaller brush quark copters and then my theory is that if you have a balance quad any PID numbers can be used to fly the quad I mean the stock PIDs of clean flight or better flight and I've proven that with this smaller quad and um, with this Ishin Falcon 180 I have also flown it without the GoPro camera if I've never flown with GoPro camera and this quad by itself is actually very balanced the props are balanced, the quad is balanced so I've flown this quad with and without GoPro camera with the same PID numbers and then both of them uh, both of the flags perform very similarly very balanced and um, I don't need to change the numbers of course uh, this may be because I'm only flying normally I don't do flips and rolls and I was only doing the test in my backyard but maybe if you're doing flips and rolls you may have to change the PID number slightly but if you just fly normally um, without flips and rolls if you have a balanced quad then your stock PID numbers will do so see, see this one this is heavy to the front because of the GoPro camera so if I put the uh, battery on the quad it is very much well balanced so I was able to fly this with or without camera in a very stable and easily controllable way so the flight was very enjoyable and um, yeah my theory is right if with any balance quad you can fly this any quad with the stop PID numbers so don't worry about PID numbers when you're just flying normally so if you see other YouTube videos and you see comments asking for PID numbers don't worry about them as long as you make sure that your quad copter is balanced your stock PID's numbers are fine to use and you shouldn't be have any problems flying a quad so I hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe to my channels for more videos see you next time